Afria CEO is firing back after a short seller's report sent the company's shares into a free fall. The report alleges that cannabis producer acquired assets in multiple countries at inflated prices to benefit a group of insiders. Joining us this morning is BNM Bloomberg's Andrew Bell. Serious allegations? Yes, but, but claims, you see, by one of these short sellers, in fact, it's two firms involved, and of course, they bet against the company's shares, short sellers. It's mm -hmm. done all the time in the markets. It's a healthy process. It helps shares from going up too much. But in recent years, we've seen a rise in this phenomenon where they put out a public report criticizing the company. And of course, it suits them. Sure. Because they make money driving down the stock. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's a free, a very prominent cannabis producer. It's headed up actually by a chap called Vic Newfeld, who used to run Jameson, the big vitamin right. uh, company. And that has reassured some investors. They thought, well, you know, he knows If the retail. vitamin guy likes it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and he knows retail. He'll know how to deal with the likes of Shoppers Drug Bart. Mm -hmm. Anyway, these uh, US short sellers have alleged, among other things, that stuff they bought in Argentina and Jamaica is valueless. Uh, for example, they said, we went to Jamaica and what they said purported to be their office seemed to be a derelict building. Hmm. So the stock in Afria has collapsed. Uh, it's lost at least half its value. And it's helped to drive down the other marijuana companies as well. They're, they haven't been targeted by these short sellers. Right. For example, Canopy Growth was down 10% yesterday. Um, Afria, for its part, says we've got our independent directors not involved with management to look into this thing. And these three came on the board after these deals uh, closed, so they weren't involved in presiding over. Still early days in this industry. Is it any surprise we're starting to see this, especially with something that's still so unknown? You're right, because people are not familiar with the industry, mm -hmm. um, but it does raise questions. Uh, for example, the, the securities firm that signed off saying it's a fair deal for shareholders, this big acquisition. Yeah. So on paper, it's almost $300 million. Wow. Did they actually travel to Jamaica? Did they actually go down to Argentina and have a look at the big fields of, of marijuana that, that were said to be there? Right. Interesting stuff. And it's interesting for the Ontario Securities Commission. Why is it U.S. short sellers are raising these concerns? Right. If, if they're borne out, it'll raise the question, what are the regulators down the road in Toronto doing? That is the question. Andrew, you guys are following this at BNM Bloomberg Thank today. Thank you very much. It is a good one.